Hey guys, uh, DM Scotty here. Nice to have you with me on uh, the DM's Craft Short Tip. I had a uh, interesting uh, episode for you today. I guess I always say that, but hey, they're all interesting to me. Um, what I'm going to do today is show you how to do texture on a tile without using the texture paint. Um, I had a, uh, a viewer, a Panorama Freak, um, say to me how expensive it was for him to get the texture paint in Europe. Um, and I never really thought about that, but um, I wanted to, I, I had a technique to do this, but I, I do the texture paint because it's quicker. It's quicker and it kind of gives a plastic coat to the uh, tiles and makes them a little, a little sturdier. But you can do it another, another way. Uh, it's a cheaper way, but it takes longer. It, 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 there's more effort involved in doing the tiles. So I wanted to show, this one to go out to Panorama Freak, I wanted to, I wanted to show you this technique, how to do uh, the tiles without the spray texture paint. Um, the, the paint was just a debilitating price, uh, just a crazy price actually for, for this person. And um, I didn't want, um, you know, that, the, 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 my craft is about cheap, you know, doing it on the cheap. So uh, it kind of defeats the purpose if, you know, the can of paint is 40 some bucks, you know. Um, it, it defeats the purpose of the cheap. So what I want to do is uh, do this episode today and I'm going to show you how to do uh, the tiles with just acrylic craft paint and without using the texture paint. So let's go to the table and I'll show you that now. Here's my standard dungeon tile. You can see that um, I've just got a rectangular room uh, with the walls down and a doorway. Now I'm going to um, apply the paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sponge. So let me grab my sponge. Um, so here's my sponge and I've wet it so it's damp but it's not um, soaking wet. So I've, I've wet it and squeezed all the water out so it's flexible but it's not super wet. So now what I'm going to do is I will grab my gray paint in my brush, use a wide brush, and I'll start um, applying the gray to the sponge. Now I could uh, just dip it in the gray, but I think it's a little easier to do it this way. Then you get it all over the sponge. So now I will move my plate out of the way. And then you can just start um, dabbing the tile. And see that's how that's adding a really nice stony texture to that tile. See how that's going there. They go back over some of the other areas. the corners. So now I'm going to put some more paint on there. I'll start to Now remember when you're done with this, you're going to want to uh, wash out the sponge because the paint will dry and ruin the sponge if you want to use it again. So make sure you do that. So now I've got the first coat on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to add a lighter coat uh, to give some more variation uh, to the tile itself. So we'll let that dry and wash out our sponge and then we'll come back for the next step. So this was quick, uh, just dried within minutes. And uh, now I'm back with the, uh, the second coat. Uh, I'm gonna do a lighter gray, and I just brushed that on the, the sponge like I did uh, with the darker color. So now I'll start just applying it to the tile. 
So you're getting an, a lighter lighter areas. And then you can do the edge. Okay, so now I've got that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my brush and kind of dip it into the paint a little bit. And I'm just gonna do a little, a little bit like that. Just add some more variation. So now we'll let that dry and uh, we'll move on to the next step. Now the good thing with this technique is it's a lot cheaper than the spray paint. The bad thing is it doesn't give it kind of the hard shell that the other uh, texture paint does. Also it's much more time consuming than the uh, texture paint. But if you're on a budget and you have the time uh, this is a great method to do. Now I'm going to kind of finish out the tile, add some more detail um, like I normally do. So I'm going to uh, use my brush, get some black, very watered down black, and then go around the edges. It's better to put it too light than to too dark because you can always you can always add some dark to it, but you just it's a lot harder to add. There, there we go. Okay, now I want to add a, little, a few uh, little scuffs and stuff. This is going to be a, an older dungeon and that kind of thing, not a new castle or anything. So I'm going to add some uh, little scuffs and just using the tips of the brush just to get some little scuff. You can also, and remember this looks kind of glossy now, but it will, um, It'll uh, dark, it'll lighten somewhat, or it won't be glossy because it'll dry. So there we go. Got some nice texture on that. So I'm gonna let that dry for a sec, and then I'll do a little 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 finish up here. So that just dried within minutes, so check that out. Uh, now I'm gonna do a little extra detail. I'm gonna do the uh, edging, so it kinda pops out. So I'm using my light gray, uh, just getting it on my chisel brush, and I'm just pulling on the edge there. This is what uh, helps give the tile some dimensionality. Gives the illusion that the walls are taller than they actually are. The shadow and the uh, highlight. And you could even do some more scuffs if you want. But there we go. So we've got a finished tile. Um, didn't use any texture paint on it, but gave it uh, an easy way to give it the texture. Just use the uh, sponge and uh, paint the, the gray on it, dab it on, then dab the lighter, um, and then just add some details with a brush, and you are good to go. So, like I say, this technique will take longer um, than the texture paint, and if you spray it, it kind of gives it like a plastic coat that makes it a little, a little more uh, sturdy. Um, this is still fine, though. So, um, this is, you can do this instead. But yeah, for those people who are looking for a cheaper way to do it or just don't have access to the, to the texture paint, 
This is a great substitute uh, for doing these kind of dungeon tiles. And also keep in mind that if you do the, uh, the, the dirt tunnels like I have shown before that I have done some of those, you can just use the brown. So use a brown, paint the tile black, um, use a brown, uh, the dark brown first, and then use a lighter brown on top of it. And you'll get that same kind of uh, texture look. So there we go. And uh, thanks for joining me on Short Tip.